Hi, what are the hidden features of Google Keep which no one talks about? Hi there, I'm Kivil Kishan India's leading business automation coach. And today I want to talk about Google Keep, one of the best applications given by Google, which has got such an amazing features through which you can maintain your notes, your list, your to-do list, through which you can get notifications and reminders based on a time or based on location. Now, before I start, make sure you subscribe the channel because every week we are coming with valuable lessons to help you upgrade your business and help you to go to the next level. Let's get started. Okay, now you can see this is my window of Google Keep. The simple way to open it is just go to Chrome and write keep.google.com. I'll tell you, you can download the application from Android by searching Google Keep. Or if you're using an iPhone, you can download the Google Keep mobile app on the iPhone as well. But now, what is Google Keep and how it helps you? So firstly, it is an easy application through which any idea which you're getting, you can simply pick up your mobile phone or your laptop and make a note on the same. For example, I want to create a to-do list. All right, and in this to-do list, I can either start noting down Right, like I need to pay electricity bill. I need to open an account, right? Need to hire an EA. I can write my activities, but what I can do, I can just go to this option called more and I can click on showing as checkboxes. So what happens? All my notes get converted into checkboxes. Further, when I open this, if I click on any of the checkbox, for example, I've opened our account. So this task is done. When I click on this, it changes to completed. So it means you have a uh, strike that you have completed the task. So it helps you to organize your notes and it helps you to, you know, keep a track on what activities have been completed and what activities are pending. Isn't it amazing? I used to use diaries to make the notes, but now I can easily use Google Keep and track all my notes, all my you know, list on the Google Keep easily. Now the question arises, okay, well, can we share this note with our friends or with our employees? Well, the answer is yes. You get this option here called share. You just click on the collaborator and it gives you an option where you can share it with your teammate and then click on save. Now what will happen? You will see that whatever person you have shared the Google Keep with, that person will start coming like here. Right, for example, if I add one more person here, I'm sharing it with two people. So now you can see there are two people the Google Keep has been shared with. So the benefit firstly here is that the collaboration has become easy. I can share Google Keep with one or many teammates. And what I can do, I can create the notes based on the departments as well. What do I mean by departments? Like, can I create notes for accounts, notes for sales, notes for uh, marketing, notes for finance? how to do that let's learn it as well okay so it's pretty easy what do you do you simply go and click on this option called more and it gives you an option of adding a label to the google keep so when you click on a label you will see that when you will do it you might not have these options like account hr marketing and sales right because this is something which i have already created but for example you say okay, okay Okay, well, uh, can we create a finance department here, finance label, so that I can organize my notes in accounts, HR, personal, finance, like that. For example, if I want to create a note called personal, a uh, label called personal, and I want to add all my personal notes in that. So I will simply write here personal, and I have an option here creating personal. And here you can see it has been added to my personal label so you can see here <clears throat> in the left side that it has created these labels including accounts hr marketing personal and sales now if i click on sales you see i'm getting one note if i click on marketing i'm getting another note which has got an option of website development where you add all the pointers and then you can add even the photo as well 
uh, if I click on HR, I'm getting the HR notes. But if I click on the personal, I'm getting the note which I had created while recording this video. Awesome. Now I want to create another road note maybe. Okay, I want to say, okay, uh, drink water every. So follow these habits every day. Okay, so drink water. I can write something else. I can write exercise. I can click on showing it as show boxes and this is where I can even make a reminder system. Okay. I can click on this and I can see, okay, do I need to get reminded of the same tomorrow or next week? Right. And even if I say, okay, that I'm getting, I want to get reminder tomorrow. When I click on this, I have an option of does not repeat. And if I have an option of daily repeat, so I'll get a daily reminder in the morning about drinking water and about exercise. Yes, I'll repeat it once again. It was pretty easy. I just went to this option called remind me where I can, <clears throat> give me a minute. I can click on option of picking a date or time. For example, if I choose tomorrow, when I click on this option, I can choose on does it repeat or not. So if I click on daily reminder, it means it will remind me daily. Second option is that you want, okay, whenever I go to my office, I need to do certain activities. Okay. So office tasks, regular tasks. Okay. So when I'll go to office, I'll have meeting with my staff. When I'll go to office, I will, you know, check accounts, balance, AR, AP, <clears throat> account receivable, account payable. I want to just do these two things every day. I don't want to miss it out. So what I'll do, I'll just click on this and I can click on this and I want, whenever I go to office, it should be reminded to me. So you pick up a place here. Yes, you can get a reminder based on the location. So when I click on the pick up place, I can even search for a place. For example, I'm writing here automate your business. This is my office location. It is directly picking from Google Maps. Okay, so for example, if I write here Knot Place, you can see here Knot Place New Delhi is coming. But I just write my office location. And whenever I'm near my office, automatically it will be reminded considering my mobile. I should have a Google Keep on my mobile and the location of the mobile should be open. I will be reminded of it. And on the top of it, the hidden features are you can add even the image as well the same. For example, you want to add any image. I want to add this image, for example. So I have I just added another example of adding another image. But on the same, with the image, I can have the oh, notes as well. Now here, what you can do is, for example, you are a diary person, right? You are making notes on your diary and you've written a few points. You can open Google Keep, you can write notes and then you can click on the photo picture. You can take the picture of the uh, page of the diary and you can add it as a photo, uh, you know, photograph just like I have done at, as adding an image, right? So if I go to any of the labels here, when I come back to personal, you will see that I have got a note along with the image which is given. And then yes, on the top of it, I can color it based on my departments or based on my priorities. And then I can organize my notes accordingly. Now here, you, right now you might be shocked that okay, well, these things are awesome. Yes, these are awesome because when I got to know about the full features of it, I was really shocked to see that how such a simple application like Google Keep help you to create your notes, help you to you know add the checkboxes help you to add the labels department wise, help you to add the reminder location wise or time wise, help you to share with your teammates and you can even archive it, you can even delete it and you can, you know, get it back, you know, backup of the notes which have deleted from the trash or from the archive as well. 
and here when you click on the reminders you will see all the nodes for which you have set up the reminder for example uh, this is the node for which I have created the daily reminder this is the node for which I have created the reminder whenever I go to the location it should be reminded and then I've got a couple of other reminders as well now guys this is the power of Google Keep tell me in the comment box are you going to start using Google Keep to manage your ideas to convert your ideas into reality or not repeating it once again you can go to Google uh, Play Store and download the Google Keep application and you can start managing your ideas you can start getting things to, together you can start taking the pictures and organize your notes department wise personal professional work right and along with it you can install it for the iPhone as well now before I wrap it up let me request you once again make sure guys you subscribe to the channel because every week we are helping you to get much more benefits from the channel and every week we are bringing the valuable information to all of you this week in fact I'm conducting a workshop to help specifically business owners on helping them automate their business using Google Forms and Google Sheet you might find the link within the description of this video if you like this video like it share it with your friends so that not only you but your friends your colleagues can also organize their notes and have an organized life using Google Keep look forward to add more value thank you so much Kishan this side take care bye bye